What's going on guys? Uh, my name is Noah. I'm happy you're here with me. I hope you're having a great day. So uh, there's two brand new studies on fasting, looking at metabolism, looking at fat loss, looking at uh, what fasting's implications are on muscle gain, things of that nature. So we're gonna, st uh, we're gonna discuss those right now, so stick around. All right, so the first study we're gonna talk about here is the one that specifically looked into fat loss in uh, metabolic rates. So um, the study had two groups, uh, a fed group and a fasted group, right? And in the fasted group, um, what we originally see is fat oxidation increases during the beginning of the day, uh, but drops off later in the day, right? And then in the fed group, uh, fat oxidation is actually lower, but then spikes in the evening. So uh, between both groups, the fat oxidation ends up being the same at the end, so there's uh, no uh, boost or uh, positive effect towards increasing uh, metabolic rates or increased fat loss at the end of the day. It was all even uh, calories in, calories out, energy balance. Uh, the clip I'll show on the next uh, on the next scene here is going to be from BioLane. Now, these results aren't, uh, aren't exactly surprising given what we already know about uh, fasted cardio, right? We can look at studies from Brad Schoenfeld and Alan Aragon that specifically looked into week-long deficits where they controlled for energy balance, they controlled for exercise, um, they also controlled for diet and uh, other variables. And again, at the end of the day, what they found that although fat oxidation does increase while doing fasted cardio, there was no significant difference between fed groups doing uh, cardio and fasted groups doing cardio. So again, uh, these results really shouldn't surprise us. I will show um, that study in the next panel as well. All right, now when it comes to uh, being fasted and working out traditionally, it's seen, uh, it's seen not to be optimal in terms of uh, muscle growth, right? Because we go this uh, big, long duration uh, not eating, and then we typically have a much smaller uh, window where most people just have one large meal. Now, in this situation, typically, you know, you can take in all the protein that you can in one sitting, but again, uh, we know that uh, protein is best served to be split up equally throughout the day. However, this new 2019 study is actually challenging that. So let's discuss. So it's very important that we note something very specific about this study. So uh, we need to acknowledge that in this group, um, nobody trained actually in a fasted state. They always trained in a fed state. And the way they, the, they broke up their feeding is that they actually had four large protein-dense meals. So they had their window of fasting, and then they had uh, some meals trained, and then had two more meals. So there was always, um, uh, there was always protein before and after, which again, uh, you know, we, we want for, for training. But it falls into that traditional uh, proven cycle of protein being consumed equally throughout all of your meals. So a very, very important to note here that this doesn't uh, follow the traditional means of fasting and working out. All right, so just so we have some more infographs on this study, I'm going to throw up a couple images from Holly Baxter. So check these out. All right, so the takeaway from these brand new two studies and the one that was previously done by Brad Schoenfeld and Alan, uh, Alan Aragon, we can see that fasting um, will not increase your metabolism. Fasting does not increase fat loss, uh, nor does uh, fasting uh, increase any sort of fat loss through cardio. Um, all the same through our fed groups. Um, now, however, if we use the proper uh, nutrient timing, 
in connection with fasting, you will see no difference in muscle growth, but it's very important that you do not have one large meal, that you break it up into four meals and you do your training in a fed state instead of fasted. All right, guys, that's all the information I have for you today. Should you have any more questions, please feel free to send me a message or go ahead and click on the link from any of those infographs that I posted to get more in-depth information about it. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Have a great day.